Uh, hi there, welcome to this devotion. On the 26th of December 1944, a young Japanese intelligence officer was dropped off on an island in the Philippines. And his instructions were quite simple. Hamper the enemy attacks, destroy the airstrip and the pier at the harbour. You see, it was World War II and the commanding officer gave him further instructions. He was not to surrender nor to take his own life. The young officer's name was Hiro Onoda. And when he landed on the island, he joined a small force of Japanese soldiers um, that had been sent there previously. Some of the soldiers died in skirmishes and some even surrendered. Onoda eventually found himself alone and fulfilling the instructions he was given. He carried out the instructions until he was relieved of his duties and instructed to surrender. Anoda turned over his sword, his rifle and some hand grenades to the same commanding officer. It was 18th of December 1974 that he surrendered. Anoda fought the war or well, Anoda fought the war for 30 years and in the end he fought an additional 29 years because the Japanese had surrendered in August 1945. That is way beyond the instructions that he was given. The interesting part is that, that he was not the only Japanese soldier that fought beyond the end of the war. Anoda wasn't even the guy that fought the longest at, beyond the end of World War II. There are so many cases like this of the Japanese soldiers um, continuing the war. Anoda was treated like a hero. And whenever we treat a person like a hero, we always admire the way that they go beyond the call of duty. And you and I, we have a duty that is placed on our lives. And the question is, how well do we carry out this duty? In Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23, it says, Above everything else, guard your heart. Everything you do comes from it. We have this duty to guard our hearts. We have this duty to care for and, and look after our hearts. And the reason we do this is because when God looks at us, the first thing God sees is our heart. Not anything else, not our resources, not the quality of our friends, not the quality of our family, none of that. God looks at our hearts. And, and we are taught this over and over again. In the Old Testament, in, in the narration parts of the Old Testament, in the prophecy parts of the Old Testament, in the, in the literature of wisdom, in the wisdom literature of the Old Testament, we are taught again and again God looks at our heart. We get to the New Testament, we are taught the same lesson. God judges us by the state of our hearts. You know, for this past month, I've, I've been so aware of this verse out of Proverbs. Because the state of my heart is how I'm going to be judged. And so I've been spending a lot of time just looking at the state of my heart. And I want to encourage you to do the same. Because Proverbs instruct us to do just that. But the irony of the instruction is that even if we carry out our duty with the commitment and the diligence of Officer Anoda, we will not get it right. Because the duty is ours, but the strength, the strength comes from God. The duty is ours to identify the flaws and the faults and to guard our heart from internal and external attacks. But the strength is from God. The strength to address the flaws and guard our hearts is from God. God. Our motive is always love and, and we keep watching the motive of our hearts and by the grace of God we are given strength to sort out those motives. So may you see the importance of God in your heart and may you find urgency in carrying out the duty to guard your heart and most importantly may the Spirit of God strengthen you to purify your heart till we meet again. God bless.